Hey, I am Mrs. Rogers and I will be your art teacher for this year. Welcome! So, in case you don't know, your fine art course is going to be asynchronous this year, which means that we will not have class. Um, art is a required course. This, uh, you need a fine art credit to graduate from high school, but we will not have classes. So you will do all of your work on your own. Now, with that being said, uh, there will be some office hours. Those will be on Fridays. We have not been given an exact time on those yet. Um, if you are failing the course, you will be required to come to that session so that I can help you get your grade pulled back up. Um, and if you are not failing, then you will be invited optionally to that Friday session. Um, there's a couple things that I want to show you and a couple things that I want to tell you about the course. Um, you will have one assignment per week in this class. Uh, so know that, you you know, as you're looking at your things to do for the week, if you haven't finished an art assignment for the week, then that means you haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, you will have only one teacher graded assignment for the semester. You'll have one in the fall semester. You'll have one in the spring semester. And your teacher graded assignment is an art project. Okay, don't worry about the project too much now. I will explain a lot more about that later, but just trying to give you a heads up. So what do I expect out of you? Since this is a um, asynchronous course, you are going to have to rely on the communication that I send to you. I will send you an email every single week. You'll get an email from me that says, hey, here's what you need to do. Now, you will also be able to find this information right here in the class announcements. So just in case you accidentally deleted the email from me, you'll find a copy of it here in the class announcements, okay? Now, there is also a semester checklist, um, and I'm gonna show you how to find it, and that will kind of tell you everything that you need to do for the entire semester. So when you click on content up here, I want you to think of content as like being your textbook. So when you open it, don't go, whoa, that's too much stuff. It is a lot of stuff, but it's like a textbook. You're not expected to know how to do every single thing in the textbook the minute you open the textbook, right? So just when you click on content, think of that as opening your textbook, okay? So your first assignment in art is going to be the course info quiz. Let me find that for you. The easy way to find your quizzes and tests is to go right here to quizzes, tests, and projects that are required the quickest way to get there. So you would click here, and then course info quiz is the first thing that you would need to do. You'd click on this, and it will take you directly to the quiz so that you can take it. Okay, and this will be due the first week of school. Zeros go in on Fridays this year. Okay, additionally, I wanted to show you a couple things that I think will help you. If we click on content again, mm -mm, it wants to cooperate with us. Okay, up here, you see where it says Art Semester Checklist and Pacing Guide? If you click on this, ooh, slow. Okay, this will show you everything that you need to do every week what you need to read. We have read-alongs in case you don't want to read. <laughs> You'd rather have me read it to you. You click on those, I'll read you the entire content. Okay, it also has holidays, your test is due, notes, oh, very important. Before you take any test, click on the notes. Use this as a study guide to help you before you take your test. Use this as your study sheet, okay? So just a few important things to show you there. Also, if you go into your plan, you will see that weekly we have an art checklist. If you go in this checklist, it will tell you everything that you need to do every single day and gives you an opportunity to check it off. Okay, um, 
let me see if there's anything else that I need to tell you. Um, I think that's all that I need to tell you for now. Um, I am excited to see you guys at orientation, which will be on the 20th at noon. Uh, that will be in a live class. So I'm excited to see you all then. And just let me know if you have any questions. As you can see right here, my uh, email address and my phone number are both right there, easily accessible. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. See you soon.